Okay, sometimes we see trig equations where we have a cosine x on both sides, or we've got an equation equal to zero and we move the cos x to the other side. Often students are tempted to just divide both sides by cosine x. But if you divide by cosine x and it cancels on both sides, then you've lost solutions. We never want to lose solutions. We don't want cos x to cancel on both sides. Instead, we want to factor. So I'm going to take this equation and set it equal to 0. Minus cos x equals 0. And now I'm going to factor out my cos x because I know how to solve equations that are factored. I know that if I've got a product equal to 0, that means that cos x must equal 0, or 2 sine x minus 1 must equal 0. I know cosine of x is equal to 0 if I'm thinking from 0 to 2 pi. That happens at pi over 2, or 3 pi over 2. Sine x is a half. I know that that happens, so I want short angle, short angle from 0 to 2 pi. I'll get pi over 6 or 5 pi over 6. So I have four solutions. If you had just divided by cosine, you would have ended up with only these two solutions. So make sure rather than canceling, we always want to factor.